So I've, I've got a pillowcase and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this guy up. Usually I'll just use you know what I have. You could use a towel as well and we'll talk about how you can potentially use this. But we've already opened up PEC, PEC minor, worked on trapezius, levator scapula, compression into the, the cervical spine. When it comes to the PEC, how's this? How's that? I don't feel it in my pick. Don't feel it? Where do you feel it? I just feel you pulling. Okay. Now I'm going to isolate it to gluteals. How's that? Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> How's that there? Awesome. Okay. Now if I don't want to use the knee, if this is too much pressure, I could come in like this. Mm -hmm. Both options. It really depends on your body mechanics and like how you're shaped. You have to learn to use your body. How's the pressure in here? Amazing. Isn't that too much twist? Okay. Now, if I give you pressure, do you more like more down this way or more lateral? Lateral. More lateral. And if I move your shoulder up this way, how's that? Feels good? Yeah. Okay. And that lengthens pec, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, if I get to compression, can I use my hand right here? Can I use my fist right here? Could I use my forearm right here? Yes. My, my first dealing with this, and if you're a woman, I think it's a little easier for you guys. Um, as a male, I'm much more concerned about that, especially initially when I have someone new that I've not worked with prior. What I will do is take the pillowcase right there. And I go, hey, how's this right? You tell me. Right in there. Okay. Now, if I give you some pressure, do you want pressure to the front or to the back? More to the front. Okay. Now, do you want pressure down towards the feet? We're up towards the head. Oh. Oh, okay. If I'm right there, how's that? That's good. Okay. Now, I'm going to take the, the twist out. I'm going to change my body mechanics. I'm going to prop her here. There we go. And it's going to get me in just a little bit. I'm going to let your arm rest. How's that? Now, for pressure, do you still want a little further forward? Mm -mm. A little up? You tell me. Right there? Okay, now can you, can you lift and move your arm without slapping me? Slowly. Uh, mm -mm, I'm paralyzed. No? You're paralyzed. <laughs> okay, if I back off, was that too much pressure? Yeah, I can move it now. Okay. Now the thing is, if you lift your arm, can you lift and move? Mm -mm. You gotta heal me. Okay. I gotta heal you. I think we just went gospel. <laughs> So I'm, I'm slowly mobilizing her because she said she couldn't do it herself. I'm just going to slowly mobilize her through this range. The arm you could leave out. You don't have to do this. The main pressure is the compression through the pec, right? Yeah. Now, more pressure down towards uh -huh. the feet, uh -huh. more pressure too up. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Okay. Still too much? It's good now. There we go. Now, when it was too much before, sharp? Yeah. Painful? Yeah, just tell me. So I'm, not, I'm never trying to give you too much pressure. How hard was I working? I was giving her too much. All I have to do is just back off, and that's usually just shifting my hips. Is the pressure there okay? Yes. Can you move your arm around from here? Mm -hmm. And you can move it any way you want. What I want you to do is I want you to access under here. I want you to move your pec around when you move your arm. Oh. There you go. So especially when it's maybe... Um, an old problem area for them, getting them to move around it means I can deliver 75% of the pressure and then I get them to do the other 25% of the work. Does that make sense? It, it puts her in more control if she's having an issue there. Now, I'm going to come around from the other side just because I want to see. If I put your arm here, is that comfortable? Yes. Does it feel better on your shoulder joint? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to come in, same thing, to the pec right in there how's that okay so position wise do you want more to the front or more to the back right okay a little more to the front and then down towards the feet or up towards the head feet. down towards the feet what about there yes. okay so i'm gonna i'm just gonna mobilize your arm from here you tell me how that feels amazing, amazing. so i'm just mobilizing her i'm not even really 
thinking so much as I'm moving. It's more of like a dance, right? I just change my body mechanics to make it fit whatever she's dealing with. She was having more challenge moving the arm around when it was open, so I put her arm more at neutral. Now, as far as like tissue is concerned, when I put the pillowcase down, how did you feel when I started working on your pec? Guarded. Guarded. Okay. Because it's tender. I mean, I'm a massage therapist. I yeah. don't care, but as a sure. person, I mean, you know. As a person, yeah. Because yeah. you don't know me. I'm just some strange guy. <laughs> you just came in for I'm a massage, like, yeah, right? Like, yeah, now, like, but when I put the pillowcase down, did you feel more protected yes. and more safe mm -hmm. and more trusting? It's the same tissue work. It's absolutely the same if I didn't have the pillowcase. The pillowcase actually add, it dampens. It means that this isn't as sharp, right? If, I, if it's not thick enough, I just fold it again. If this isn't enough, I just get a towel. I can immediately come down and put my hands here, but she feels completely comfortable because I put that down. I use this all the time. If I go work on somebody and they're like, it's too sharp. Okay, how's this right here? How's that? Do you see? Do you see? A mm. little bit. It's just a little bit of cloth, but it makes her feel more safe. She's also clothed. If she's naked on a table and I'm like, okay, peck work, how does she feel? And, and that was the challenge I had initially that I had to kind of figure out. Leaving them clothed was an advantage in my case. Mm -hmm. Leaving them clothed also meant that I could mobilize them. How much have I talked about drapes so far? Everything we did previous, upper back, shoulder blade, neck, could we do that draped? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Could we have done this draped? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you see why I don't go into great detail about it? I give you a clothed option because I think it changes the work. It changes the consumer's focus. They don't fixate on clothing as much. The... Yeah, and, they're, they're, and the thing is when I mobilize, especially as the sessions get heated as I go through, I just want to move her around. If I have to worry about whether she's covered, here's the problem. It doesn't mean that I can see anything. If she gets a breeze, she's naked. And for me, as a male therapist, especially when I started when I was 25, that was a problem. That was not something I wanted to, to deal with. Do you guys want to give and receive that, work on the pec? Yes. You'll notice that I did it from both sides. The first time I was facing up towards the head and there was pressure and mobilization. The second time I came around to the other side and then gave her a little bit of jostle with the other arm, okay? You guys want to do that? Yeah. Thank you for your pillowcase. That's also why I didn't want you to use your hands as much because I want to make, get you to the point you can use your forearms. When massage therapist, oh, please don't hurt your hands, please, please, please. <laughs>